is and right now they're getting a little bit of snow across the southern Sierra. So let's take you to our high def Doppler and show you where it's happening. The remnants of the storm system that brought us that good amount of rain yesterday for some folks has now moved out further east and it's cold enough in places around Yosemite for it to bring some snow but the Tahoe area it was still a little bit of slush that they were dealing with because temperatures were not quite cold enough but you can see all the rain along the foothills and for us we are looking dry but what's left is some low clouds out there. Look at this great view though of San Francisco. Uh, you can definitely see the visibility being impacted for some areas today. I'll show you that in a moment. But temperatures also feeling a little bit warmer than normal. 49 in Livermore, 51 in Oakland, 54 in San Jose. So we are a little bit warmer than what we usually get at this hour. Visibility wise now, if you're driving around, you may notice some fog out there in Hayward, some low lying patchy fog also along the coastline in Half Moon Bay and the North Bay Hills where visibility is down to less than one mile. So about a third visibility for places like Napa. And here's another view of that cloud coverage. Patchy fog this morning, we have dried up for the weekend. So the rain has now left us. It may feel a little damp out there, but we're not going to get any measurable rain now. Temperatures for your Saturday look like this. Upper 50s, low 60s across the South Bay. So feeling pretty comfortable. 60 in Fremont, 59 in Walnut Creek, 60 in Pleasant Hill. It's still sweater weather, if you ask me. Uh, 58 degrees in Sausalito and 60 degrees for Petaluma. Up to the north, a little bit cooler temperatures in the mid to upper 50s in Utah. Kaya and Lakeport. If you're traveling around Northern California today, expect 60s in Redding, 57 in Sacramento, lingering showers there in Lake Tahoe. Again, just a slush is likely, but Yosemite is getting more of the snow flurry. So I want to show you what's to come. We're getting this storm to come through on Monday. It's actually going to start to reach us on Sunday night, and it's going to be met with this tropical moisture that's coming in from the south. So that's going to bring us a heavy amount of rainfall. So let's show you that future cast to show you when it'll get here. For your Saturday, Sunshine, clear conditions. Sunday as well. Until the first clouds come through, Sunday night, 10 o'clock, we'll start to get a little drizzle. And then here we go on Monday. Get ready throughout the day, Monday, starting early in the morning through your noon hour, afternoon hour. Heavy bands coming through, especially Monday night into Tuesday. That's when the most rain will arrive. And we are talking a couple inches of rain for the Bay Area. So the amount of rain that you may see, one to three inches for us. The hills will get more, the mountains will get a lot more three to four inches of rain there by Monday, Tuesday. After Tuesday, though, things will be dry. So you'll see that here in your seven-day forecast. Taking a look now by Monday, Tuesday, nice dry conditions. Wednesday, uh, we're looking at partly cloudy. Thursday, Friday, plenty of sunshine. And hey, tomorrow morning, the weather will be just right for this. Hot chocolate 15K is happening at Golden Gate Park. 52 degrees, partly cloudy skies for your Sunday.